Hey, back again with new video guys. This Sampath, you're watching Sampath Samfx. You're watching Sampath Samfx. This is Xiaomi Mi Lano X, Poco F3, uh, the Redmi K40, custom ROM reviews. I back with again HyperOS build here. You guys can see into my device here. This is a HyperArt MMET. MA is back. The video is back guys again. HyperOS 1.0.5.0 here, the version. If I go into detailed information specifications, you can see the version 1.0.5.0 Android version is 14 and security patch is March security patch baseband version you can check out and kernel is just 4.19.157 kernel has been used here uh, the UI related things we'll see first with home screen customizations here widgets are given as well, you can see you can categorize them discover our recommended widgets you can drag and add them for example if I want to add this one weather just select that and add to home screen yeah i'll tilt it to next page yeah that's how it looks like and even edit option for icons is also given as you can see you can rename them and uh, icons also you can choose different for whether i will keep this one yeah and you can resize and shape them which is clearly going to make some difference whether yeah it is now changed you guys can see and this is typical home screen what we can get here and this is the minus one screen again this is all the app and the app drawer what i have using if you press and hold here again you get that wallpaper super wallpapers it will not get downloaded you need to manually download those apps then it will going to work fine and other hyperos and mio 14 wallpapers are present here no need to worry regarding that guys and again uh, we'll go into some results before that i want to show some app settings the dialer here will get a proper miui i mean the hyper dialer here call recording features are there and other settings you can check out those are fine here and camera again you get a leica integrated as you can see even with video mode if i can go here 4k no only 30 of this option no 60 here anyhow in the photo mode again you get all the necessary options which is cool in my opinion again this is the camera application you can see a little bit of lag but animations wise it's fine here the previous version is fine but this is also going to work fine you need to give some time at least a couple of hours once you flash the ROM and coming to other apps like calculator is a hyper -S calculator only and file manager is pre-installed here for some reason I unable to install this and to as you can see if i even give the permission here for file manager it will show to install the sim as you can see hence i not showing the score of android to anyhow me fitness is also pre-installed here via browser and security which is a updated hyper os security application i really like it and you also get some options here as you can see change scanning giveaway if you can make it to stack again recorder option is there sound recording and scanner other things remain same here gallery again i'll show the results before that these are the options you get here recognize table text and even in the edit section you also get the uh, ai beautify sky other things also you'll get that that is really fine in my opinion now starting with the results here geekbench score 621 is the single score and 2334 is the multi score and geekbench 6.2.2 i think so the scores are very wrong here are very much less for me 11x uh, maybe because of the custom rom it is not recognized well anyhow there's a score what i can get achieve from this particular room again links 4.19.157 puff kernel has been used xiaomi me 11x standard version 14 and this is the read write speed sorry cts profile match and basic integrity both getting passed here and device is certified and watching sorry using payment applications like google pay phone pay is not a problem here again watching what it is not a problem hdr 10 and level 1 certified again these are read write speed test with graphical numbers and this is airtel fiber connection with 200 mps plan it is pulling up to 240 and this is the charging speed i mean the 33 watt charging support is there me turbo charge support is available in this rom no need to worry regarding that these are the results and app settings and all we'll go into settings here very similar to other hyper os builds here here you get hyper art mods here i explained in the previous video also status bar again colored notification icons if you want to see 
in the status bar you can just enable that disable this privacy chip like my camera axis you can disable that too and change the notch shape again that i was showing you let's make it saturn heart yeah it should take some time anyhow status bar again now style let's keep it saturn after some time it will get changed in the previous video also i was showing you that this all the status bar customization again control center if you want you can add this bluetooth and flashlight and bluetooth and hotspot big icons if you want them you can add them and this all the quick setting toggles nfc is also given here and in the edit section there are few options you can check out and miscellaneous settings again ios like dynamic island and switch to mio specs and extended power menu if you want you can do that as you can see you can directly boot into recovery switch to mio device specifications if you want you can do that and in the display settings again max fps in all apps and enable aosp clipboard if you want you can do that hidden settings again you get ios status bar is given here and if you want to enable that yeah apply let's see yeah it's look like that but this recent apps are not a ios style that should have been added at least anyhow and this all the other uh, hyper art mods you get here apart from that everything is remain same again here you get all the basic connectivity options and wallpapers and personalization again you get this lock screen customizations and effects fonts icons again everything remains same here even lock screen again you get these options here notification status bar again control center style and if you want to disable this smart hub make it none now the icons have been removed remaining icons are present home screen again you get plenty of customizations here as you can see animations with this recent apps is not given ios kind of style other than that everything is fine with app drawer and classic light mode are given here again display and brightness dark theme the ui is very much smooth guys also you get this dark mode options force them and custom and all is also given here and if i disable the auto brightness you also get the sunlight mode which is a handy feature again color scheme again you get plenty of options here to refresh rate and reading mode you can schedule them custom you get up to 90 120 options are also given keep it default adaptive refresh rate ai image engine all three options are given hdr enhancement if you want you can enable that and again sound and touch again you get additional settings here you guys can see sound effects again you get dolby atmos and harmon cardon certification here again moving into battery again you get four different modes you can check out the battery life also very much better compared to previous version now coming to locks here you get app lock also and screen lock and fingerprint unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock first now followed by the face unlock as you can see both are very much fast and accurate i really like it and moving into some privacy and security you get these all some region specific guys the earthquake alerts and all and the screen time is also given google services also pre-installed here if you want to root this you can use magic's uh, latest one and flashing method everything is given in the description check out guys and in the additional settings if i want to show you um, you get accessibility menu again vision hearing physical those are given in general also you can get screen recorder option is there here you can check out maximum resolution is 2.4k and gesture shortcuts again you get plenty of options here too and screen recording features are given front camera assistant tabless floating windows again everything is fine guys i haven't faced any issues as of now if i'm in this and make it floating window as you can see next enable that and if you can want to use the text messages you can do that this will be remained here if you want you can keep it side also and you can actually keep them this side you can make it out floating windows that's a fine multitasking is next level in hyper os quick ball again you can actually activate this too as you can see you can assign the actions for individual buttons and you can drag and drop these things again that's how the customization and uh, multitasking get tab plus memory extension up to 6 gb my variant is 6 gb kit space is given front camera assistance is also given these all the things you get in the additional settings everything is working fine guys i haven't faced any issues uh, just minor lags once you boot into that you might take some time as of now it's very good as you can see 
the vibration haptic strength should have been better but anyhow it's fine and now if i can change this to silent mode you also get that dynamic island feature as you can see and this is the volume panel what we can get here which is similar to any hyper os builds we'll see the bgm and wind of this video Coming into graphic settings again, you get 90 plus option. I mean, extreme plus here. And smoothness is really smooth. The UI is. There's a volume panel. And there's a gaming mode. What we can get here. I have turned on the performance mode. If you want to save the battery, you can keep it balanced also. But I recommend to use the performance mode. And again, you get here saturated bright options i want this bright and saturated <laughs> that was really mess and Yeah, finally I got here. That's the gaming experience is really good here. It's been good from previous builds also. I haven't faced any issues in gaming and even while using day-to-day -day usage. Even in the counter attacks, there is no lag as you can see. That's the gaming experience guys. And FS count, you can see. I'll come back here that's the gaming experience everything is working fine you can check out my previous videos of this particular rom and from the maintainer this uh, status bar change now type mickey mouse these are not getting uh, done as of now i don't know why but overall it's a great rom available for me 11x or the poco f3 guys and i recommend you to join the whatsapp group for this particular device itself and link for uh, those are given in the description and uh, flashing method and firmware used are also given in the description check out and if you want to follow me on the social media those links are also given in the description you can check out and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow the bell notification pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video like this you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like guys i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now